thinking of doing a marketing degree? Stick with us through this video and you might want to think again. Now, the last thing we're doing here is bad-mouthing the field of marketing. It's a super exciting domain with unique challenges and plenty of opportunities to get creative and have fun. Better still, no matter how fast trends are changing, businesses will always need to market their products. So guess what that means, Mr. or Mrs. Marketing Genius? Yep, there'll always be a well-paid job waiting for you. And if you start a business, that marketing know-how will give you a hell of a head start. We've said before that in today's world, everyone should have some marketing knowledge up their sleeve. But the question is, do you think a university degree is going to teach you that? We don't think so, and here's why. Number 1. Marketing is constantly changing and university courses can't keep up. This is right at the top of the reasons why a degree isn't going to help you much in such a fast-moving domain like marketing. Despite what that degree might say on the label, you're going to need to be savvy in things like strategies for marketing on social media, understanding how algorithms for search engines work, and these are things that are changing at lightning speed. By the time you graduate, you might as well have a degree in ancient history. Which, kind of, is what you will have with the amount of dust it will have gathered. Number 2. Big employers are getting rid of the degree requirement. Everybody knows if you want a career as a freelancer, you don't need a degree, but what about working for big companies? Let's take a look at what they say. IBM's former executive chairwoman Ginny Romady said, Getting a job at today's IBM does not always require a college degree. And LinkedIn's CEO Jeff Weiner also stated, What matters most is relevant skills. Even take a look through marketing positions advertised. They're increasingly saying marketing degree or relevant experience. So seriously, why go through all the effort of getting a degree if there are other ways you can pick up that experience? Being up to date with the latest developments in careers business and tech can count for more than having a piece of paper saying what you studied. This is definitely true in marketing. And remember, we here at Alux, we've got loads of videos keeping you up to speed. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, be sure to do it now for more quality content every day. Number 3. Loads of Theory, Little to No Practice the thing about marketing is it needs on-the-job experience, it needs results, and for you to learn in a hands-on way how you can get those results. And the problem with a lot of marketing degrees is they're all about theory, and there's no practice of getting those all-important results. Take a look at what Dan Palmer has to say about it in Medium.com. He's an Australian entrepreneur who took a marketing degree and ended up regretting it. He compares his marketing degree to a medical course that spends its entire time teaching you how hospitals work without teaching you any medical issues or how to treat them. He also says he didn't learn much beyond what he touched on taking in business studies in high school. Now, we're not even saying you won't learn anything useful in high school business studies, but are you really going to drop $40,000 on it? Nah, didn't think so. Number 4. You might end up learning other business topics you don't even need. It's also common for marketing degrees to water down the marketing stuff with a load of other business theory you never even asked for, like a few basics of accounting, finance, economics, and perhaps a bit of management added in. But not enough to actually get you a job in accounting or finance or management. Not that that's what you were looking for anyway, because guess what? The emphasis on those topics is going to be heavy on the theory with no practice all over again. Number 5. You'll probably end up learning a load of stuff you already knew. Again, we're talking about really general, no-brainer stuff, which marketing degrees have now got themselves a reputation for filling their courses with. Like learning that marketing is all about understanding the consumer. Yep, well done, genius. Or how brands need to position themselves to cater to their target market. We think we could have got that from a Google search of inspirational business quotes. Or basics, like the four Ps that make up the marketing mix. Number 6. A lot of marketing professors are out of touch. Now, this does depend on the university, but it's a common complaint from students on marketing majors that professors have little idea of what's going on in the real world of marketing, and they get their academic kudos from the amount they publish in academic journals, not on how they deliver social media campaigns. 
Check out what Mark Schaefer says in businessgrow.com, where he talks about a department chair who argues that social media is a passing fad. Seriously? Mention TikTok to some marketing professors, and you're lucky if they'll be able to tell you it's something that involves teens doing crazy dances. What they may not have figured out is that in the US alone, people spend a billion dollars on TikTok ads. Number seven, they don't teach you how to write great copy. Writing copy that grabs people's attention is one of the most valuable marketing skills you can have. Put simply, it means writing text that will get people to read it and actually do something, like subscribe to a newsletter or push that button to buy your product or service. And how do you learn it? on the job, by writing lots of copies, seeing what works, seeing what gets a lot of clicks or likes, and what makes people end up buying. And when it doesn't work, changing it until it does. The thing is, when you're busy learning a lot of theory, there's no focus on things like this, the stuff you need to be doing on a daily basis to become great at marketing. Number eight, or how to manage social media channels. Is there still any business out there that doesn't think of social media as one of their key marketing tools? Well, we've seen there might be one or two marketing professors who think that, but let's be clear, this is a huge part of marketing and again, you need to learn on the job, not from theory, and social media is advancing at lightning speed. Just think about a few developments in social media that changed the way businesses reach out to their followers, like when Facebook and Instagram launched live videos, allowing advertisers to interact in real time, when Snapchat started using stories and then Instagram followed their lead, or when TikTok took off. These all changed the way businesses interact with their followers and grab the attention of new ones. And any business that doesn't keep up will look way behind the times, just like most marketing degrees. Number 9. They don't teach you SEO. Google is known for always changing its algorithms. More and more searches are being done on Siri and Alexa, which brings up a whole other bunch of SEO problems for marketers to solve and keep up with. Number 10. They don't teach you Photoshop editing. To be a great marketer, there are lots of tricks to have up your sleeve that will come in super handy, and creating great images is just another one. Again, it's the practice side of marketing, not the theory, and marketing degrees are so drowning in theory, this won't get covered. And remember, anyone can learn these skills to a basic level online for free or for a very reasonable price where you can learn a lot of what you have to do, and then start experimenting. Number 11. Get networking. Get connected with what's going on and get meeting people involved in marketing. Join meetups in your area or online or co-working spaces to find out what you can about what marketing opportunities are out there. If you're looking for a job in marketing, see who can hook you up with some experience. And if you're starting your own company that you want to market, see what advice you can get from the people you meet. Number 12. Marketing degrees are expensive. Another reason to avoid them when they're just not delivering. Of course, it varies from country to country, but university degrees are getting more expensive pretty much everywhere. Just taking a look at the USA, for example, according to bestcolleges.com, a marketing degree will cost you between $4,400 and $44,000. The lower end of that might not sound so bad, but remember, the reason they're cheaper is because they're also the least relevant and basically the crappiest. And regardless of whether it's a low or high end. Do you really want to pay for all of that when it's something that just isn't necessary? Number 13. You can get the skills you need without a degree much more effectively. The chances are, taking an online accredited course and starting a website is a lot more profitable, in fact, about 10 times more profitable. Need proof? Check out this study in clickminded.com which compares an accredited online course in digital marketing with a college degree in the same subject. The online course works out to be four times cheaper, you'll complete it three times faster in six months instead of 19, and the return on investment after three years of completing the course is almost 10 times better, a 521% return on what you paid, as opposed to 53% taking on a college degree. Number 14. Even with a marketing degree, you'll need to do loads of extras to get ahead. 
After all that, just in case you're still not convinced about this, as well as the degree, you'll want to get some hands-on experience for your CV to look good. That means doing things like internships during holidays, starting your own website and experimenting with it, taking on small jobs for clients, all things you can be doing anyway without taking a degree. So really, why bother with a degree? Number 15. Business courses in general often come out the worst rated. This is probably down to the reason we've already mentioned. The business world is fast moving and college degrees just can't keep up and they teach you all theory and little to no practice. In fact, according to a survey in the UK, courses related to business studies were the worst value for money overall. Just check out this article in The Guardian by Martin Parker, himself a professor at a business school, who suggests we should just bulldoze them all. So Alexers, what do you think is the best way to become great at marketing? Tell us in the comments. Now of course, you stuck with us until the end, here's your bonus. For all that we've been slagging off marketing degrees, the consensus is there are some good ones out there. The only problem is they're at the most renowned universities, and guess what that means? Yep, the most expensive. Like a degree from MIT that will cost around $75,000, or at an Ivy League university more like $50,000 for a single year's tuition. Sure, a marketing degree from a top university will get you a job. They're even known for having more hands-on practice, working on real-life case studies, and with professors who are actually in touch with the business world. But when they cost that much, and you can do it all for a fraction of the cost, is it really worth your hard-earned money or the time you'll be putting in? No, we don't think so either.